Hey guys, welcome back to yet another video. Today I'm going to talk about a really good technique that I like to call reverse testing. It's really useful for when you're testing an existing code base, you've already wrote the code, and you can use this together with the code coverage report to make sure that your tests do cover the whole thing. So, with no further ado, let's jump into the code, but before let me remind you to subscribe, leave a like, and you can subscribe to both the newsletter and to get an early release of my test-driven development course on the description. So let's jump into the code. We have this really simple job here, which just goes through all of the users, sends them a welcome notification, and if the user is premium, it sends them a welcome to premium notification. Those classes don't have anything on them, I just created them now. But here's a situation, it's really useful when you have some if blocks in your code and you want to make sure that the whole thing is tested. In this case, I am assuming that you already had the code written out and you're writing a test now. But if you're writing the tests along with the code, this should not help you much. And still, it's, good to, it's a good trick to have on your sleeves. You can use this in conjunction with code coverage reports to make sure that your whole app is tested. So we have this test. It's a really simple test. If you do not, if you do not know what I'm doing here, you can go back a few lessons that you have lessons on test driven development. But we are basically uh, creating a fake notification handler. We are creating a user. This is Laravel eight notation. We are executing the job. So we have the handle method. We are calling it and then we are asserting that the welcome notification was sent to this user once. Now, if we already had this code, we could generate a code coverage report and we would see, we would probably see uh, that this wasn't being called. Actually, we wouldn't see it. We would maybe see that this class wasn't being tested. But anyway, we might miss that. And a really good way to, to test if your whole uh, class is being tested is to use what I call reverse testing. Um, it's really simple. You just go, let's run this once. It passes. Now, if I go and comment this out, uh, let me comment this out first. You can see that it fails. But if I comment this if block, it passes, which is an indicator that the whole, the whole class is not tested. So when you do this, it's really simple. You just go comment in our code and every line that you comment out should break your test because everything should be tested. So even if you have a really small line, a really small if block, if you comment it out, it should break your test. If you go and do, if the user isn't premium, it should break your test as well. So, um, in this case, as the user is not premium, I'm going to show you guys. It should break my test, right? But it isn't. So, we are not testing something here. We should test that it sends a welcome email, but does not send a welcome to premium email to a regular user. This is it. And here's what we should test. We should test that it wasn't sent to, we have this method. It has the same signature, the welcome to premium notification. So basically what we're saying is we create a user, we run the job, then we check that they got the welcome notification, but we also check they did not get the welcome to premium notification. If we don't have this line here, our test is incomplete because as I said, if I change this to a negative, uh, it doesn't break the test, but it should. So let's leave it as it is. Let's run it now. You can see that we have two assertions. And even if we make the slightest change here, it breaks our test. So this ensures that our whole class is tested. So we have another test, right? And that is, it sends both a welcome email and a welcome 
to premium email to premium users. So uh, let's change this to create a premium user. And we just want to send change this to assert send to and we want to make sure it was sent once. Let's run it now. And it passes. And if I go here and I get rid of the if block, this one will still pass, but the second one shouldn't. So let's test them individually. Let's do vendor being PHP unit filter. You can always do this to filter out a test. This one passes. So you can see that while we tested it, it wasn't sent to. And if we change this condition here, it fails. If we get rid of the if block, it does not fail. So we also have to test this. But if we run this one, sorry, it should fail. And now we have the whole class tested. So let's change this back to how it was. And you can see that both tests do pass just fine. And I call this reverse testing. I'm not sure if this has a name. But it's really useful when you're testing uh, already existing code and you just want to make sure that the whole thing is covered. So when I'm doing this, I just go um, and change a condition, uh, get ready, get rid of an if block, uh, change things of place. You want to make sure that your tests do cover the whole class. So that's it, guys. Uh, it's a really quick lesson, but I think it's really helpful. I hope you guys learned something from it and leave it on the comments if you have any doubts any doubts on what i've done here i will be happy really happy to to answer you all thanks guys and see you in the next video bye bye where do i close this oh here